The 49er class is a two-person high-performance skiff. Both the helmsman and the crew are out on trapezes and it's got three sails, main sail, jib and then a genica which you use when you're going downwind. My role on the 49ers is the crew, so I trim the sails and predominantly just try and make the boat go fast. In the 49er, oh, I steer the boat and um, make most of the tactical decisions. There's a lot of things that go into making a boat go quicker around a racetrack than someone else and you know, we put a lot of work into a lot of those areas. I guess the whole thing with the skiff is that's really tippy and it takes a lot to sort of master the basics of tacking and jibing, but then you know, with that it goes pretty fast and it's a really fun boat to sail. The teamwork side of it's super important, you know, there's the whole side around the communication and you know, making sure each of you are on exactly the same page and the longer you sail together, you know, me and Blair have sailed together for a pretty long time now, that just becomes easier and easier. And the relationship between Pete and I is a super important one. The tighter you are and the more you understand each other, I guess the better it is, especially when the going gets a little tough and something over the last eight years that we've built a really strong relationship. You know how each other react under the pressure and um, that definitely helps out. You have to spend a lot of time on the water to get that quick intuition and get that timing, you know, especially between the two of us if we're, when we're doing manoeuvres and that sort of thing. You have to sort of understand what the other person's going to do so that you can keep that nice flow going. For us, we almost talk at it of a more as a feel as well, like a feel of what the boat's doing and you know how you should be sailing it, where you should be pointing it. There's definitely bits and pieces in the technique of how to get that, that last little bit of speed out of out of the boat. It's all the tactics and deciding where to put the boat on the different parts of the course for the best wind, and it's a massive part of it. So when you get put under the the pump, is that you have to try and make the right decisions and try to make sure you're always getting the boat to be going as fast as you can the whole time. We've always felt that we can sail to our best ability when the pressure's on us. I guess, I think we probably actually sail better. It's just something that when we, when we know we have to put down a good performance, we often can. After taking home the silver medal at the Olympic Games in London 2012, Burling and Took finally earned gold at Rio in 2016. As well as their Olympic success, the pair have been part of Emirates Team New Zealand for the past three years and will be sailing in Bermuda this summer as part of the 35th America's Cup campaign. Been involved with Team New Zealand for coming up three years now. Obviously been doing well in the 49ers, so Pete and I got brought in and uh, yeah, it's for the two or three years as we led up towards Rio. We were doing them both in conjunction, but the, the primary focus was on Rio and on the 49er. Certainly juggling those was quite a, a balancing act and um, made us a lot more busy but at the same time you, you learnt skills in the America's Cup domain that we could transfer back to the 49er so it was definitely a, a bonus for us and then since then we've been just full time. Yeah the Olympics seems like quite a long time ago now. Yeah for both Blair and myself you know, we haven't had really any time off since the Olympics because the America's Cup is only months away now we've you know, just had to get straight into it because you know, it feels like if we don't we'll just regret it and uh, it's going to be an amazing time. We've got one goal and that's to bring the America's Cup back to New Zealand. It's an awesome challenge, it's something that you know we know it's got a big hill to climb and uh, everyone at the team is working super hard you know, every day to, to try and do that and uh, you know, we feel like we're in, we're in good shape now but we're just going to have to keep getting better and keep pushing on right till the end, till the last race.